Cleaner out. We had Coca Cola. I, I do like cookies. Yes. All right. I had a lot of food. I had and, jambalaya. And I have a beautiful woman. So the only thing that was there for me was some cookies. Okay. I had roast. No, I didn't. I had ham. I cooked two hams. I had so much jambalaya. It, everything was gone. By the end of the night, there was nothing left. There was so much food, and it was gone. But there was a lot of people. And, you know, I know you're jealous because I had a party. I, I, can, I can see it. You're looking at me across. The, I can tell because you didn't come. Because I have no friends. You have friends. You just chose to go to sleep. What did you do Christmas Eve? I, was, I, was, I started in Australia. Be careful. And the Far East. Yes. You know, <laughs> me and my dear. What did you really, really do and, and, besides and, play Santa? After you played Santa, you're done by 7, right? 7 p.m. Central no, Time. No, no. I, yeah, yeah, you're done. No, I'm, I started in the East. I didn't have to swing through and, and keep going, you know. It's, it's it, a long day. It takes 24 hours. You sure you don't that. drink? I'm positive. Okay. What did you really do? Christmas Eve? Yeah. You didn't come to me. What did you really do? Uh, don't make me ask Monica. When we, what? I don't know. Hang on. I'm calling Monica. Christmas Eve. What did y'all do? Christmas Eve. You went to sleep, I'm telling you. Probably. <laughs> There's not many too much time I can get to sleep. You know, look, we have a guest on live with us right now. That is, this guy has been around for a little while. I'm looking at his portfolio. I've kind of looked at it a lot. I mean, he was even a teacher at Gregory Junior High at one point. Um, Pre-Katrina, this guy has done everything. I can't remember his name. What's his name, Chef? Mm. And these are the people that are at your party, <laughs> and you can't remember Ron Flagg. I wanted to make sure you remember Ron Flagg. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Ron, I mean, look, bro, we, we've become fast and furious friends in the last um, a couple, two, three days, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. Uh, we shared some really interesting stories back and forth. But uh, well, Ron, it, Ron, wait, before we get too far into this, uh, let me tell you what. <laughs> when he called me up and he says I'm having a friend coming on the show that was at the Christmas party, he said it was Fanny Flag. <laughs> Fanny Flag is coming on the show. <laughs> and I'm like, Fanny Flag. <laughs> and and so I'm just wanting to let you know before you, he gets into this too far, <laughs> this is what you're dealing with. This is your friend over here. Oh my god. You know, Larry Gelbert, when I did a show back in um, nineteen eighty-two, uh, he said Jokingly, of course, he says, Ron, you related to Fanny Flag? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> well, you know, we getting back to this party. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to rub it in anymore. I, I'll let Ron rub it in. Ron, yeah. did you have a good time? I had a great time. Oh, man. Best Christmas Eve party I have ever been to. You hear that, Chef? Let me repeat what he said. Best <laughs> Christmas Eve party he has ever been to. And it was the first Christmas Sorry, Eve party he's ever been to. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> we almost had to edit something real quick. <laughs> um, you know, for, you, for those of y'all who don't know Ron, Ron, back in the day here, he did a commercial, and he was the voodoo man, where... What team for was direct it? TV. For direct TV. But it, what football team was it? The Saints, um, the who that, baby. The Saints, but who was the voodoo guy? The, I, I stuck the needle into um, the Falcons. The, 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 the dirty the, the bird. bird. Okay, a so. Dirty, the dirty bird can't fly. With all right, so evening. I remember seeing this commercial, right? <laughs> and, and there's Ron sitting at this chair, and there's this guy taking out his trash, and, and Ron's slowly poking in. A pin into this Falcon. Uh, I think it's the quarterback, right? It's, it's, the, it's the doll. It's yeah, the doll. it's the doll, right? right? And the guy is falling on the ground with his freaking <laughs> trash going all over. And I'm like, oh, I remember this. This was so good. Um, but Ron, tell us about the experience you have, man. I mean, I, I'm looking at your resume. It's just like it's lines after lines after lines. Well, you go. He's pretty old. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> and and, uh, and of course, you know, you you were part of you know Southern Repertory Theater and, and mm -hmm. NOCA, and you know. Uh, I've been fortunate. I've worked with some really great people, especially since I moved back here to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. uh, I did a job at the World War II Museum last year that I just really loved. On the air too, for the people that saw it, it was a great musical, 
and uh, Victoria Reed. Uh, she's quite a lady over there. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, I'm going to reach out to Victoria here soon. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what do you do with NOCA? Because I, I know you met my wife, um, Sherilyn, mm -hmm. and she's a NOCA uh, alumni. Yeah, she, you know, right. And it was kind of funny. She just... And she, she knows, yeah, she knows my niece. Yes, yeah. it's, it's like it was such a weird experience, you guys mm -hmm. knowing the same people. Mm -hmm. um, for NOCA, what did you do for NOCA? Uh, we did a play back in uh, 2001 um, called Jitney. Matter of fact, um, a movie that just uh, opened with Denzel Washington Fences. Right. It's the same um, uh, writer, uh, August Wilson, and because he's he's written about ten or twelve plays uh, about the black experience that that are classics, and Jitney is one of them. And for the people in New Orleans that saw it. Um, they had quite an experience. I mean, I still run into people, and they'll go, oh, oh you, you played the drunk, you were fielding. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I was me, they still remember it, and they talk about how great it was. But we opened the new theater at NOCA mm -hmm. uh, back in 2001 with that show. Right, and and the, the NOCA facility now, uh, Kevin, have, have you been to the NOCA facility? Oh, it's yes. just beautiful. Oh, my gosh, it is so good. Compared beautiful. to what it was, right. um, I mean, the facility is so beautiful. What, mm -hmm. Are you going? What's the newest adventure? What are you doing new? Uh, right now, I'm I'm really trying to uh, venture out and to do some work in Canada because uh, my sweetheart lives there. Yeah, um, and I've and been spending, I've been spending <laughs> a lot of time there, <laughs> and I figure you know I'm going to spend half my time here and half my time in Canada. Nice. Yeah. So my agents are like. Uh, Kind of, on, yeah, because there's a lot of Canadian there. broadcasting that's going on. I see a lot mm -hmm. of stuff happening through it, with joint ventures with Canada and the U.S. Mm -hmm. And then I even saw just recently, I think it was, uh, I'm not sure where I saw it, but it was a Louisiana Film Commission and a Canadian Film Commission mm -hmm. are doing a joint thing for um, the NCIS thing. Mm -hmm. Now, did you just... Am yeah, I, I just, I worked on an episode of uh, NCIS that should air... Um, um, Early February. Nice, nice. So, uh, yeah. edit, editor, be be kind. Don't okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, anybody die or you can't talk about it? Did you no, have to sign okay. a non disclosure? Yes. You did. Uh, yes. You see. I mean, nowadays in uh, in the business, you know, with the social media and all this stuff, you know, you just you can't post stuff and all that. Right. You know, let the show air. And then, you know, then you can post Then pictures. all you want. That's exactly right. Now, yeah. we, we had another friend that um, was on Code Black, mm -hmm. and um, it aired, and she was killed in the episode. And right. I was, everybody in the whole house came to my house to watch it right. on a big screen, right? And, uh. and she dies, and we're like, oh, my God, what just happened? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people, uh, they kind of get traumatized. I have my, my cousin, June, who I, I love dearly. She, she asked me now. At when I have a show that's coming on or something, she says, "Do you die?" And I'm like, no. <laughs> because she watched this one show. Matter of fact, you might remember it was a, called The Big Easy. It was a um, a series for um, USA Cable, right? Years ago, and I got killed, oh. and so and she saw it and she was like traumatized, and it was like, "You have to let me know if you're going to die, <laughs> otherwise I don't want to watch yeah. it." <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you guys said something earlier mm -hmm. about the... My party? Uh, no, but not about the party. <laughs> about NOCA. Uh -huh. And when NOCA was uptown, the facilities and the great facilities they have now. Right. But I have to brag a little bit. Okay. Because it doesn't matter the building. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the facilities. Mm -hmm. We have talented people in this city. Oh, you're not oh, kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. Look, I mean, Ron, thank you so much for joining us today. We're, oh, thank you, Patrick. We're just having way too much fun we want you to stick around and listen to the rest of the show because we have some interesting people coming on you're listening wait kevin has something to and, say and maybe you can tell me more about what i missed at this wonderful christmas eve party oh you're, yeah oh, go you ahead make that face <laughs> <laughs> you're, mi <laughs> you're not missing out and about in the big easy with <laughs> chef kevin belton and pj larive stand by we'll be right back with you did you know there's an approved healthcare choice just for Christians that's founded on the timeless principles in God's Word? It's not insurance. It's MediShare. Over 189,000 believers across America who love God and share each other's healthcare bills. It's about half the cost of health insurance, and you never pay for medical practices that go against your Christian beliefs. Best of all, 
The health care law includes a special provision for MediShare members, so you don't have to buy insurance or face penalties. MediShare is affordable health care without compromise. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 844-43-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 844-43-BIBLE. That's 844-43-BIBLE. What does grace mean to you? For grace at the green light, it means everyone deserves the chance to go home again. After all, no one was born alone. Everyone deserves a hot meal in a clean indoor setting. Grace at the Green Light serves the street homeless in New Orleans. We have served over 47,000 meals and sent over 650 men and women home to be reunited with loved ones, thanks in part to the support of our sponsors, Christ Church Cathedral, Emory and James Limited, Fat Bankers Social Aid and Pleasure Club, Faubourg Private Wealth, First NBC Bank, Crew of Tux, McGee School, Oral and Berry, Perrier and Lacoste, and Siler Tucker. You can also make a difference. For information on donating or volunteering, visit Grace at the Greenlight.org. Grace at the Greenlight.org. Thank you. We want people to enjoy their uh, celebrations. However, we just want to make sure that everybody is doing that safely. An Amber Alert is in effect for a teen missing from Beckley, West Virginia. 16-year-old Jada Rogers went missing yesterday. The teen is believed to have been assaulted by the suspect and forced into his vehicle. The car is said to be a red 1995 Chevy Blazer with West Virginia license plate 5ZZ359. This is USA Radio News. There is a devastating disease crippling children, disfiguring them, leaving once beautiful faces marked with the unmistakable signs of leprosy, causing them to live a life of pain, shame, and isolation. But you can help American Leprosy Missions find, diagnose, and cure these children. You can stop leprosy. Right now, you have an incredible opportunity to help and heal children who are suffering. Because it costs only $90 to cure leprosy in three people, you can be the source of their healing. Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. Give now to help those suffering with leprosy. Call American Leprosy Missions right now, 800-443-0838, 800-443-0838. That's 800-443-0838. Or give online at StopLeprosyNow.com. 558. This is Jeff Cruer with my commentary of the day. So the abuse from Democrats continues even more than one month after the election. In Hawaii, a restaurant owner said Trump supporters were not welcome. We've had multiple cases of Trump supporters being attacked. The Democrats have been protesting and recounting and pressuring electors. Members of Congress like Maxine Waters saying she's not even going to meet with Donald Trump. And President Obama in a recent interview saying he could have won a third term and beaten Donald Trump. Well, thankfully, we have the 22nd Amendment. And thankfully, we're going to be moving in a different direction. Michelle Obama says we have no hope, but millions of Americans have hope for the first time in eight years. A hope we can save our economy. A hope we can rebuild our military. A hope we can secure our border. A hope we can restore our standing around the world. A hope we can finally defeat ISIS. And a hope we can restore the American dream so that this country can be prosperous once again. More info on this and the other hot topics of the day, check out ringsidepolitics.com. Alex Jones. I have believed from the very beginning these are real grassroots uprisings all over the Middle East, North Africa. But when the globalists came out and bragged that they were behind El Baradi and others and are trying to take credit for it, clearly they knew that these rebellions were coming, so they triggered it to make sure their people got in. So I think everybody who's been looking at this from different perspectives has been right. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones. Sunday evenings at 7 on WGSO. Bon appetit. I'm Cynthia Clark, your food reporter and host of the Cuisine and Good News Report on WGSO. Monday to Friday from 1 to 3. Hi, I'm Rob Clemens with SaintsForSinners.com. Tune in at 9 o'clock on Saturday mornings. 
for our radio show on WGSO Radio. This is David Jeremiah inviting you to join me here on Talk Radio 990 every weekday at either 530 or 630 a.m.